what's up guys this is Sunny and today I'm gonna show you guys real quick uh, what temperature I get uh, with uh, Corsair H55 uh, water cooler and uh, after that uh, I'm gonna install the Thermotake uh, XC4 and we'll see what temperature I get with that so that will be a separate video so for now we'll just uh, do a quick video showing you guys what temperature I'm getting with uh, H50 uh, Corsair H55 water cooler, liquid cooler, whatever you guys want to call. So let's just zoom in here. Okay, as you can see right now, the core temperature showing right now 39, 34, the max is going up to 52. Um, you can see the max actually went up to 53. So now that uh, with the H55 cooler, and uh, I left the I, I you know I left the computer on for about uh, say half hour. I used normal use uh, browsing and stuff, and uh, just to show you a regular temp. So right here, as you can see the regular temp, and. Uh, Let me zoom in. Okay, so when I do video rendering and stuff, it goes about 60 Celsius, the highest when it's rendering. But that's with the uh, with the uh, Mac with the OS X uh, Maverick. And um, so let me just show you guys quick uh, with the Mac. Uh, so this right now I'm running Windows 8, and uh, you can see the temperature right there around is idling at around 40, uh, 30 and uh, I don't know why those other cores are different but the, the first core is doing about like 39 okay so let's just uh, boot right into uh, Maverick Zoom up a little bit. You guys can see. Okay, the password. Oh, I'm not using Yosemite right now. Uh, I use for my everyday use uh, Maverick uh, 10.9.5. It was really, really stable. And so let's just go to. Monitor temperature and should be right up there. Let me zoom in for you guys. Um, sorry, guys. As you can see, now I'm in Maverick, and uh, I think right now you can see. Uh, for some reason, uh, CPU temperature uh, less in uh, Mac system or Mac platform. I don't know why. See, right now the first core you see 28 Celsius, the second core 28, and then third core 29, and the fourth core 29. So now, for some reason, it's more stable. The temperature is more stable in Mac uh, platform uh, than a window platform. So I really don't know why. Um, so it seems like the uh, CPU in less pressure uh, working, uh, you know, you know, less uh, working with less temperature, obviously. So this is definitely in less stress. You know, CPU is in less stress, I guess so. So yeah, guys. So real quick, just want to show you right here. Uh, let me zoom out real quick. Okay give you guys real quick info okay I have a Core i7-4790K with 16 gig of uh, GSCAP Ripjaws uh, RAMs also I have a Gigabyte Z87X UD4 motherboard and as you can see right here I have a GTX um, 770 graphic card 
and uh, that's that's basically kind of using like for it's, it's my everyday computer but for now I'm just using it like a test bench just to show you guys so the cooler you see right there is the H55 Corsair H55 cooler I'm not overclocked that's just a regular um, a regular clock speed with the regular temp I'm getting with the Corsair now Corsair H55 doing a great job running really nice I'm really happy with it uh, the reason I'm gonna install uh, the Thermotech uh, Nick uh, C4 just to see what's the difference and uh, that's about it and uh, I'm guessing I don't this thing uh, the air cooler not going to beat the water cooler so I'm just doing this just for hell of it just to show you guys so my next video after I install the Thermotech uh, Nick C4 so I'll shoot the same video with the uh, Mac and window and show you guys what temperature I'm getting Okay guys if you like my video, please don't forget to like and subscribe for now peace